Welcome back. We are excited to share a new video with you today. We'll be discussing something important to us, the AdFarm updates. Quick reminder, the AdFarm is an open source software we are developing to make PCB fabrication easier. Before uh, we dive in, uh, we want to thank PCBWay for sponsoring this video. We will talk more about their service later. Now, let's continue where we left off. One of the features we were focusing on is the alignment procedure. The main goal of this procedure is to align the two sides of a board before milling the second side of it. In fact, after milling and drilling the top side or first side of the board, we have to flip it and fix it to the bed of the machine to be able to mill and drill the bottom side. It's quite easy to have small rotation or movements in the X and Y directions of the plane that result in errors that are evident when examining the drilled holes. In some cases, these errors could result in the hole to be outside of the pad where it was intended to be. When this happens, the connection between the two planes that the hole was forming is defective or there is an unwanted short to another part of the circuit. Having precise mechanical references can mitigate these errors, but errors can still occur and there are other inconveniences to care about. The use of dowel pins could be a good way to have precise mechanical references, but they take quite some space. If we use a corner reference, we could have a cut board or one side of the board could be not well squared and straight. So, these references may be not enough to guarantee a low alignment error between the two sides. In general, using precise mechanical alignment reference means having an expensive system. The idea behind our solution is to take advantage of the software capabilities to detect and correct the misalignment errors as much as possible. And in this sense, our procedure aims to make it simpler to align the bottom side of the board with a few clicks. The main idea of this procedure is to mill the top side, drill holes that will be used as reference for aligning the bottom side. At least three holes are needed, but it's better to have four or five to lessen the computation error. Flip the board and fix it to the bed of the CNC machine. Using the ant farm, move a camera placed on the CNC at the center of each reference hole. Grab the holes position and refer them to the holes position on the bottom side Gerber. With a mathematical algorithm, compute the offset and the rotation error. Apply the offset compensation on all G-codes of bottom side. Mill, drill, cut the bottom with alignment error compensated. Let's look at a demo of this procedure, styring the ant and the ant farm. First, we mill the top side. Then, we change tool. We are going to drill some holes that we'll use as a reference for alignment. 
note that we are using goals in the middle of the design itself, while a better strategy could be to drill only the alignment holes and place them at the profile boundary. We will see why this option is better. Next step is to flip the board to work on the bottom side. We exaggerated the misalignment to clearly show the effect of the correction. The first time we use our machine to align optically, we have to set the distance between the camera and the tool. To do it, we mill a dot with a milling bit on an adjusted zone of the board. Then we set X and Y to zero. Then, using the Align tab, we move with the camera crosshair centering the dot we just created. At this point in the setting tab, we can just press the Get Camera Offset button that will grab and save the actual working position. Let's pass to the alignment phase. First, we load the bottom G code layer and we connect to the machine. Then, on the Alignment tab, we load either the Top Alignment Drill Exelon or G-Code. We flip it since we are looking to align the bottom side. At this point, we move the camera to center one of the alignment holes and we select the corresponding element in the loaded layer. We have created a correspondence between the points seen in the camera and the point selected on the layer. So we add this point's correspondence to the table pressing the plus button. We do this procedure for at least three holes and we are ready to apply the alignment correction to all our Gerber and Exelon files. We can start our machining operation on the bottom side. The first operation we do is the auto bed leveling or ABL. A brief parenthesis about this. The ABL on the bottom side is the reason why it could be better to have the alignment holes at the boundary box of the profile. In fact, in the unfortunate case, one of the probing points of the ABL corresponds to a hole, our ABL procedure would fail. After the ABL, we can start milling the bottom side. For the complete procedure, we would also drill all the other holes and then do the cut of the profile. Note that we don't need to repeat the alignment procedure for these layers, we just have to keep the offset correction applied. Anyway, for this demo we will skip these phases.
and as you can see, the result is that the holes are quite centered in the pads, despite the grit error introduced when we flipped the board. Give us 30 seconds to tell you that after our project prototypes fabricated by the end are tested and working, we use PCB Way fabrication services to produce lots of our PCBs. On their site, www.pcbway.com, you will find all their services, offers, news, initiatives, and much more. Register to get offers, discount, and order your PCBs. Thanks, PCB Way, for sponsoring us. The Alp Farm is still evolving. We are working on it. And all that you have seen in this video is available on our repository that you can find in the description. You can also find a release with pre-built executables for the major operating systems. We have another news. We are moving. So we don't have a lab at the moment. As a consequence, many activities of the Ant Lab are on hold. The new space will be ready soon and our activities will start again. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you find it interesting. Please subscribe and click on the notification bell. Have fun. Ciao.